When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuha ladheena amanu, man yartadda minkum an deenihi, fasawfa yati allahu bi qawmin, yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbuna, adhillatin ala al-mu'mineen, a'izzatin ala al-kafirin, yujahiduna fi sabirillah, wa la yakhafuna lawma talaim, thalika fadlu allahi yu'tihi man yasha. Allahu wasi'un alim. It is one of the most comprehensive verses in the Qur'an and it's actually one of the few verses that connects Allah's love to His letting you do da'wah, to His letting you work for this noble cause. ذَلِكَ فَضْلُ اللَّهِ O you who believe, if you turn away from this faith, Allah will bring about a people that He loves and they love Him. They are humble with the believers. They are proud with the disbelievers. They strive in the path of Allah and they do not fear the blame of the blamer. And that is the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dalika fadlullah. That's the bounty of Allah. He bestows it upon whom He wills. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses all expanse and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all knowing. I think about that verse and there are many things that you can thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for. First and foremost, Alhamdulillah for giving us Islam. Alhamdulillah for giving us Islam. Alhamdulillah for giving us Iman. And we pray to Allah for Yaqeen. And Alhamdulillah for letting us be in any way a small part of the succession that is to come. And we pray that we don't disgrace ourselves and risk being replaced by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want to break down this verse inshallah ta'ala for a bit and hopefully leave you with something instructive. And I want to thank everyone for being a part of this and, and remind you by the way that being a part of this da'wah is not just being Sheikh Muhammad al-Sharif rahimahullah and he'd be the first person to tell you that. There are many people that were around him, some of them that are in this room today. There are many people that support this work in different ways. And as Dr. Nazar was speaking earlier about the capacities, the spiritual arzaq, the risk, the sustenance that Allah gives us in terms of how he divided the a'mal, how he divided good deeds. Don't belittle your place in this community and in the work of this deen. Your position is important. Every single person has something to contribute to this beautiful message and to exert themselves. When we talk about this verse, Allah will bring about a people. That is to show you that if Allah chooses to let you be a part of this, then that is the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon you. If Allah azza wa jal replaces you, that is your loss, even if you don't have as much of a burden in terms of carrying this message and moving it forward. But everyone wants to be loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that description, yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbuna. Allah loves them and they love Allah. You know, if you were a companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa you had a pretty good idea about where you stood in the hierarchy of believers. But when the Prophet ﷺ comes out the day before Khaybar and says, tomorrow I'm going to give this, this flag, this banner to someone who loves Allah and His Messenger and someone who Allah and His Messenger love. And all of the Sahaba are competing to hope to be that person. And everyone wants to have their name announced, not so that they can have the glory of carrying victory when they come out of Khaybar not to have the spoils of war, nor the celebration of their colleagues and companions, but to fit the description that the Prophet ﷺ just gave, that Allah and His Messenger love this person, and this person loves Allah and His Messenger ﷺ. And everyone was just hoping that they'd hear their name. That was the greatest prize, no matter what the sacrifice was until Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam announced that it was Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu, that he was a man who loved Allah and his messenger. And Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam loved him. 